Hello, humans! I'm you, Schiller, and welcome back to some more Pikmin 3! Oh, what the- what? What? Pikmin 3? Really? We're back to this now? I'm finally playing more of this game after the cliffhanger that I left it on a few parts ago? Yeah, I know, it's crazy! I've been playing Shantae and a bunch of other games, and now it's finally time to continue this walkthrough! So where was I? Oh, that's right, I was just enjoying my time, at least trying to after crash landing onto this planet, when some person came in and stole all of my fruit! And now I have to go back and track him down over at the Garden of Hope. So, last time, or yesterday, I was at the Garden of Hope, I tried tracking him down, I was unsuccessful because I couldn't do everything that I wanted to do in one day. So today, I'm going to try and complete all of these other tasks. I'm going to let you guys know now that I'm probably not going to be able to track down this Hockitation astronauts, whatever that I found a few parts ago that stole all my fruits. I'm probably not going to be able to find them today, but I will at least make progress. So, as for the Pikmin that I want, how about all the blues that I can possibly have, a bunch of winged Pikmin because winged Pikmin are going to be super useful, and then just whatever number of everything else. Yeah, that should do it. All right, my Pikmin squad, let's see where I left off last time. And let me go ahead and get a pellet real quickly, just so I can get some more blue Pikmin. There we go, that should do it. Okay, so let's see. If I recall, there were bridges that needed to be built. There were containers that needed to be constructed, kinda. There was an obstacle that required me to have three captains, but I couldn't quite construct that obstacle just yet. And then there were one or two enemies that were blocking me off from some fruit. Oh yeah, and then there's a thing over here that gives me those ultra spicy berries, so I'll have some Pikmin work on those. Okay. So basically, this is going to be a day for blue and winged Pikmin, and I'll have my red Pikmin just take care of these ultra spicy berries. But first, let me split everyone up. I'll take, uh, I guess I don't really need Charlie right now. I'll take the, these winged ones, so I can have them raise this. Here we go, I think I'm going to need 10 Pikmin, so I'll have to go back and grab more in a few seconds. But that's okay, just a slight inconvenience to get the job done. But what matters is that the job gets done at all. You know, I just got to get it done. There we go. I'm not a speedrunner of this game, evidently. If I was, the game would probably be over by now. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can beat this game in 20 days or less, but I don't even think I'm going to reach that. Knowing my luck, I'll probably beat this game in 21 days or something. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. This little wall has been raised. Hooray! Now I just got to remember where everything else is. I'm trying to look at my map and play at the same time. Uh, okay. So, there's stuff over here that's right. I could use blue or winged Pikmin for this, but I'll just go ahead and use the blue ones. And then I have to be careful because if I recall, there's an enemy right over here. Yep. Hey. I will probably defeat you in this part. But for now, I just want to make sure that my Pikmin are safe while they carry these construction pieces over. They're not technically bridge pieces. They're used to construct this little vase that I'm going to need to overcome some other obstacles later. But these should be the final pieces, and if they're not, there's another set that's not at this part of the level, so... I don't know. Let's... Oh, you know what? They're gonna be up there. Oh, I can already see them. Yeah, this will not be enough to construct the rest of this. Well, that's okay. How about I go ahead and explore over here where there are some more aquatic enemies, huh? Hey, fellas! Today is not going to be your lucky day! You're gonna spray something. Yep, alright. Let's go ahead and round up my Pikmin here. We're okay. Let's go ahead and get the other one. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't have to take out these enemies, but I probably should. It'll make things much easier for future days. And my Pikmin can carry your remains back so I can get even more Pikmin because I only just discovered blue Pikmin in the previous part. At least in Pikmin 3. I already discovered them in Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. But for the sake of this story, these characters have only discovered blue Pikmin in the previous part. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Boom, you're done. Now how about we go ahead and take care of this bubbly creature. And it's not a bubbly creature because of its personality. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a bit of a vicious creature, if I'm being honest. It's a bubbly creature because it shoots bubbles everywhere. Get it? Alright. <laughs> Let's just take you down then. Slowly but surely. I mean, I only have eight Pikmin attacking you at a time. Maximum. Just a few more hits and you should be dead. I'm not even worried about my blue Pikmin that are stuck in the bubbles because those will pop in just a second. And come on now. Just a few more hits. There we go. Okay, now you're done. Now, how about I do? How about I go ahead and use the Pikmin that are over here, and I use you, fine folks, to. Yeah, you can carry him back. That's fine. I should be working on knocking down that wall, but. Ah, okay, I'll do that right now. Where did my Pikmin go? Uh, they're gonna go back over here, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, that's right. You're there. Let me go around. <laughs> okay, you know I'll take out that enemy while my Pikmin carry those other. Well, while my. I'll take out that enemy while my blue Pikmin carried that one dead enemy's remains back. Alright? 
How about we go ahead and do that? Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm, I, I, see, this is why I need to look at the map. I will look at the map now. We should be fine. Go underneath this thing. There we are. Hello, Pikmin. We're over here now. You ready to take on this enemy with only 13 of you? Shouldn't be too bad. I believe you just have to attack the eyes, correct? I mean, that's probably why they're big and bulgy. And that's the weak point for a lot of other enemies. Oh, get up. Get up. All right. You're okay, Alf. You're okay. All right. Everyone over here just got to attack the other eye now. Oh, and he went back in. All right. Well, we'll just wait for him to come back out. No worries. Aha! I see the problem now. So if he goes back underground and he burrows, he can heal his eyes. So I just have to destroy both eyes before he burrows. I guess a smarter strategy would be to throw Pikmin at each individual eyeball and just hope that that works. But we'll just... Yeah, okay. We're, we'll, we'll try that next time. Okay, see, now I know I'm learning. I'm learning this game's mechanics. Okay. Come on now. Also, it just occurred to me. I never had my red Pikmin go after those ultra spicy berries. I just kind of left them to sit there. Brittany and Charlie aren't doing anything right now. Okay, I'll focus on that more as I take on this enemy. All right, there we go. That's that's more than a quarter of his health. See, we're, we're getting it. We're getting it. All right, round up my Pikmin. See, now, now I've got a routine. I haven't lost any Pikmin to this thing yet. And hopefully it stays that way. Come on now, here. This should do it, you're, okay. There you go, both eyeballs are done, and then apparently when you lose your eyesight, you just feel like you need to flip over and start sprawling everywhere. Well, hey, I'll use that to my advantage. All right, more than half your health is done. One or two more phases of this, and I should be good to go. Let's keep, let's keep up the pace. Let's keep it going. Come on now, come on now, destroy those eyeballs. This guy's gonna have a terrible vision problem if I don't kill him, but I will kill him, so I'll put him out of his misery. I just need to rinse and repeat these actions over and over again. And I can definitely rinse you because it's raining out, which means there's water. I don't really have any cleansing materials, but I got blue Pikmin. They're hitting you with leaves. Leaves can be used to clean things sometimes in certain instances if you're trying to survive in the wild. You are facing the wrong way, sir. I mean, it's, I guess I can't hit you, but then you're just kind of wasting my time. Or I guess is your intent because you know that if it's sunset then I can't kill you. Come on. Come on. This should be the last phase. There we go. One eyeball. Two eyeballs. And bada bing, bada boom. Flip him over. Attack him. And this should be the last of it. Yeah! And he drops a fruit. Oh! Okay, I'll have my Pikmin carry that back. I'll get the fruit in just a moment. Cool. Don't know if that counts as a boss fight or not, but I just got that little victory jingle. So I guess it does qualify as a boss fight. All right. Yeah, you, you guys carry that back so I can get a ton of blue Pikmin. There's a fruit over to my left. I'll have to get that a little later. Oh, yeah, and then I, I gotta worry about knocking down that wall. Um, Only blue Pikmin can knock it down. All right, here. Let me do this. I said I was gonna use red Pikmin to go after those ultra spicy berries, and I'm gonna take care of that now while I have Alf look for the other blue Pikmin. So, Brittany, if you can command these red Pikmin to go after these ultra spicy berries, that would be great. And then I might hand some of the winged Pikmin off to Alf. So let, let's, okay, you're not here. Let's take these. Let's just have Brittany do it. Okay, so Brittany, whoops, you go over here. All right, take these winged Pikmin too. Take, you know, let's just take all of them. What, why did a yellow Pikmin follow me? He's just gonna drown. I'm sorry, man, you're just, you're just gonna drown. Ugh, I see, like, I feel like I saw that, but I didn't do anything about it. Huh. <sighs> all right, well, for the time being, I'm gonna have my winged Pikmin carry this fruit back. There we go. That way I can at least say that I did some sort of progress today. Bada bing, bada boom, that fruit is going back. I guess the rest of my winged Pikmin are just gonna chill out for a bit. I can't really send them anywhere else. I can't have them work on that wall. I can't have them gather any other pieces because I need blue Pikmin for everything because I just discovered blue Pikmin around here. So of course the game's gonna require me to have blue Pikmin to solve all of these miniature puzzles. Okay. So I can already tell that this is not going to be the most productive day, but you know what I could do? I could put some of these winged Pikmin away and get some more blue Pikmin out because I carried pellets and enemy remains back. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a couple, not too many in case I need blue Pikmin, or in case I need winged Pikmin for later. So there you go. Put you away. All right. And then wait for you all to go away. And then quick before the fruit gets absorbed. Yay, more blues. Okay. I probably could deposit these winged Pikmin as well, but I don't know if I'm going to need them later or not. Like, I might need some more just to raise up that little wall again. 
Also on the side right here, you can see that my red Pikmin are finishing up their task of getting all these ultra spicy berries. So now I can get some more ultra spicy spray, which I assure you will be very useful later in this walkthrough. You guys probably know that there are going to be plenty of boss fights coming up. So having ultra spicy sprays will be of the utmost importance. Okay, so let's see what else I can do today because today is not going to be the best day. But I've already gotten some stuff done, so it's not the worst day. But I don't want to spend too many days on this one level. I already spent like four days in a row on the previous level, and I just want to get this part done. If I can at least finish constructing this thing over here, I'll consider it worthwhile. So for now, let's see where else I can go. Let's knock down this wall, huh? Let's let's knock down this sandy wall, dirt wall. Okay, whatever. I'm going to knock it down. And I guess I can have a few of my blue Pikmin carry some of these enemy remains back, because I'm still going to need plenty of blue Pikmin for later parts of this walkthrough. Nice to have a surplus, you know? Plus, tomorrow, when I inevitably have to come back here, I can just bring out a bunch of blue Pikmin and start the day. So, we should be good. We should be good. Things should be fine. Okay? Let's do it. Let's do things! Destroy this wall! There can't be that much remaining, right? Plus, once this wall is destroyed, I can explore more unexplored areas! It'll be great! Boom! Now, this is technically not the way I'm supposed to go just yet. Well, I... Okay, actually, I do have to go this way. Never mind! I didn't actually know that these pieces were over here. I just knew that I... The, the actual area I need to go is in the opposite side of this level. Anyway, yellow Wally Wog, those are those frog enemies. If you throw enough Pikmin on it, it won't be able to jump. I've already demonstrated this a few times in this walkthrough. As for this enemy, this enemy is not a Wally Wog, but if you want to hurt it, just throw a bunch of Pikmin onto its little tail thing right here. And bada bing, bada boom, it is dead. Okay, cool. Kind of looks like a fruit, but it's not a fruit. Now, I'm going to have my Pikmin work on this. These are probably also not the final pieces of that little vase thing. Or maybe they are, actually. Maybe they are. I don't know. What else is around here? Let's explore just a little bit, huh? There's another data file. Let's see what this has to say. And... Rock Pikmin! Rock Pikmin aren't crushed when trampled on. Interesting that there's a Rock Pikmin fact all the way over here. In a place that's just filled with water. After I've had Rock Pikmin for a considerable amount of time. Here's a Wallywog. And then there's more stuff over here, more data files over here. Maybe I could get Rock Pikmin over here through another method. But for the time being, I'm going to save this part of the level for later. As for you, Charlie. As for you, Alf. Um, hmm. Ah, uh, well, it, we're already at the hurry up part of the day. Darn it all. Darn it all. Well, can't say that I didn't try. I'm doing my best to pretty much do everything, so it is what it is. All right, folks. All right. I didn't get everything done. I'm sorry. I, I tried. I, I got a fruit back. I took on a mini boss, technically. Not a major boss, but just a just a mini one. Okay. I I knocked down some dirt walls. I took out some enemies. I I got some more blue Pikmin. I lost a yellow Pikmin because it friggin' drowned. So Certainly not the most productive day. I'm not even gonna have enough time to carry that back. So perhaps I should just <laughs> see it's tempting. But my Pikmin aren't gonna make it back in time, and I don't wanna lose track of them and Okay, but oh, did I? Maybe I did finish this thing. Yeah, I did finish this. Maybe today wasn't so bad after all. You can tell because the the pitch of my voice has gone up. <laughs> all right, you know maybe maybe I can have my Pikmin get this pellet back just real quickly, just real quickly. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Dig it up. You can do it. I already know that all the other Pikmin are over here. Oh, you guys don't need to get any more ultra spicy berries. We have enough of those. Look at that. Seven ultra spicy sprays. That'll be good for a bit. I mean, obviously, the more the barrier, but as it stands, that's good. That's a good amount. Okay. And then you blue Pikmin over here. You're fine. It's really just these blue Pikmin. And then I'll have them all rounded up. If I can just get that pellet back, that'll be awesome. Um, It's going to be cutting it close. If it does make it back, I'm starting to lose hope in it. Come on. Come on. Start moving. Start carrying it. Okay. That's the maximum amount of Pikmin that can carry it. Come on. Come on now! We can do it! We can do things! Come on! Ah, uh, that's probably not gonna make it back in time. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to lose 10 Pikmin this quickly. Alright, it's fine. Even with those last two, three seconds, it wouldn't have been absorbed quickly enough. So, alright. I didn't get those extra blue Pikmin, but at least I did spawn more blue Pikmin in general for today. And at least I got to enjoy the wonderful visuals of this rain effect, and at least... I got a fruit back, and I got some more progress so that some I got some more progress done so that tomorrow will be a more productive day. 
I'm sorry, guys. I guess my excuse is that I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things for Pikmin 3. Again, I acknowledge that I am not the best Pikmin 3 player in the world. Uh, I stated this earlier in the part. Not the best day, but not the worst day. Oh, well. It's okay. We're escaping. I lost, what, like one Pikmin? Because it drowned? So, that's okay, I guess. Let's see what the characters have to say about today's fruit supply. Ooh, you know what? This would be great for blending. If we could get a nice mix of flavors. Well, Brittany, I certainly appreciate your optimism. I really do. Anyway, this is a searing acid shock. I've gotten one of these before. It fills up one full jar. So since I already started with half a jar, it's just going to get me to half of the next jar. Doing what I can. Doing what I can. I figure as long as I get at least one fruit for the day that isn't like a grape. <laughs> it's it's all worth it. My tummy is grumbling and it's all because of that hockitation. I'm trying to catch him. I really am. There we go. Boom. Okay. We're okay for at least the next three days. Good. We still have plenty of juice left. See you again, Brittany. I appreciate your optimism. All right. Let's look at the status report. I didn't lose any other Pikmin, right? It's just going to be the one yellow. Yeah. Because it freaking drowned. Look at that. Everything else is fine. All right. Whatever. Whew. I guess I've gotten 30 fruits total. That sounds pretty cool. After observing these winged Pikmin, my conclusion is that they are not very effective in combat. However, since they possess the ability to fly, they can be extremely useful for accomplishing certain tasks. I will keep an eye out for any opportunities to utilize their unique ability. Well, I've already stated this plenty of times throughout this walkthrough. I stated this from the moment I got winged Pikmin, and I've stated it several times since then. But I guess it is good to document it. Alright, folks. So this part is coming to a close. I'm going to get ready to continue things for the next part, because I'm just going to go back to the Garden of Hope. I'm going to try to get some more fruit, hopefully finally locate that Captain Hockitation person, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that wraps up this part of Pikmin 3, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part, when I complete more tasks, when I knock down more dirt walls, when I take on more enemies, and when I hopefully make a lot more progress than I did in today's part. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh.